Today is the day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of man's quest for a better life and future. Truly, today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, Ampayon National High School proudly presents its fourth graduation rites for the school year 2020-2021 with the theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid COVID-19 Pandemic. To start with, this most awaited event would not be made possible without the support of the equally and highly esteemed individuals from the division of Butuan City, led by the dynamic and very supportive Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Marilu B. Dadumo Ceso Fai. The epitome of an empowered woman and our active Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Fe M. Puskus. Our dedicated and very young at heart school principal, Dr. Jawarisal T. Carlos. The ever active and united faculty of senior high school, led by Mrs. Febby J. R. Tamis. Other distinguished men and women of the entire academic community, colleagues, members of the graduating class, proud parents, guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen. A pleasant and joyous viewing to all. Let us log the graduates for the processional. ourselves in the spirit of patriotism and acknowledge the presence of our Almighty God in our midst today as we listen to our national anthem and will be followed by a prayer. Sa 
Gracious and loving God, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. May they find comfort from our community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory. To discern what is right, good, and just. To use their gifts wisely and in service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to go forth and set the world on fire. Grace be to them. Grace be to us all. Welcoming you here for today's virtual event is especially meaningful as we honor our graduates and celebrate their achievements. To formally welcome us all, may we have our very own school principal, Dr. Jawarisal T. Carlos. Love morning to all of us. Thank you for joining us today. On behalf of Ampayan National High School faculty and staff, I would like to say that we are very pleased to welcome all of you who have been with us in these trying times of our education arena. Today is our graduation and completion ceremonies and we are very proud to be able to host it today virtually in FB Live with all of you. Just before we get started, I would like to express my gratitude to all of you who so generously helped us make this event happen. To grade 10 teachers headed by the grade level chairman, Mrs. Fritchie Joy Ibrado, and to the senior high school teachers led by Mrs. Phoebe Jane Tambis. We couldn't have done it without you. To our beloved grade 10 completers, senior high school graduating students, and their proud parents and guardians, my warmest congratulations. Congratulations because despite the COVID-19 pandemic, you have persevered and overcame hardships. Powered by the love and constant guidance of your parents and teachers, finally, you will become the torch bearers of peace and goodwill because that is what you learn from your parents and from your alma mater, Ampayon National High School. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay tayong lahat! Thank you so much now for the heartwarming message for our viewers. At this moment, May we also hear a welcome address from one of the graduating class, Ms. Hanily M. Bar. Distinguished guests, dynamic school administrators, proud parents, steadfast teachers and staff, ladies and gentlemen, pleasant and victorious day to all. Our education has been taking a heavy beating from COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the challenges, it is still worthy to celebrate, for today marks another unleashed milestone for the graduates of 2021. It is with ultimate joy and pride to welcome you all to this momentous event of our lives, the most awaited graduation of the grade 12 students in Ampayan National High School. I believe this isn't the kind of graduation ceremony we envision for we want to walk across the stage, receive the diploma, and hear our families cheering us on. Nevertheless, we are still grateful and proud that our virtual celebration of success reflects the resiliency we manifest every single day 
just to be here to pursue our academic dreams. We are honored and thankful to everyone, classmates, schoolmates, stakeholders, school leaders, and teachers, and most especially to God, who accompanied and undoubtedly helped us become the better person we are today. Let us savor these joyous moments with our families, teachers, relatives, and friends. Let this day be another milestone and leash for all of us. Let us enjoy and be grateful. Once again, welcome to our victorious and memorable virtual graduation ceremony, Ampayon National High School, Senior High, valuing and going beyond our best. Thank you so much, Ms. Baro. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness virtually the main highlight of today's event. To do the honors of presenting the school year's candidates for graduation, may we have on our screen our ever dedicated and supportive school principal, Dr. Jawarasil T. Carlos. This will be followed right away by the recommendation of candidates for graduation by our prolific district supervisor, Dr. Fe M. Puskos. Then, the confirmation of candidates for graduation will be done by our well-rounded school division superintendent, Dr. Marilu B. De Dumo, Ceso 5. Let's give them a resounding applause. Dr. Marilu B. De Dumo, Ceso 5, Schools Division Superintendent of Butuan City Division, Dr. Fe M. Puspus, Public Schools District Supervisor of East Butuan District 1, may I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation for school year 2020-2021 to of Ampayon National High School, of whom 29 are males and 45 are females, a total of 74 graduating students. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the academic requirements of the K-12 curriculum as prescribed by the Bureau of Secondary Education of the Department of Education. May I therefore request you to recommend and confirm for their graduation. Dr. Marilobi de Dumo Ceso 5, School Division Superintendent of the Division of Butuan City, Assistant School Division Superintendent Mr. Manuel O. Caberte, after the presentation of the School Principal of Ampay National High School, Dr. G. Juarez L. T. Carlos, that these 74 candidates for graduation for school year 2020-2021 have satisfactorily completed all the basic requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Program. As the Public Schools District Supervisor, I hereby recommend that these 74 candidates for graduation for school year 2020-2021 of Ampay National High School be confirmed. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in my capacity as the Schools Division Superintendent of the Division of Butuan City, after having been presented by the school principal, Dr. Joaresel T. Carlos, and after having been recommended by the district supervisor, Dr. Faye M. Pospos, I have the honor to confirm these 74 candidates for graduation, 29 of which are males, 45 are females, as graduates who have satisfactorily completed the senior high school curriculum under the K-12 program prescribed by the Department of Education, Caraga Region, Division of Butuan City, Apayon National High School for the school year 2020-2021. Congratulations to all the senior high school graduates of Apayon National High School. To inspire our graduates, let us hear a series of messages from three of our Ladies and gentlemen, may we have our very own Deputy Secretary, Madam Leonor M. Briones. This will be followed by another message from the Regional Director of Caraga Region, 
Dr. Evelyn R. Petalvero, Cecil Pop. And last but not the least, the Division Superintendent of the Tuan City, Dr. Maribu B. De Dumo, Cecil Pop. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day. Wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and 
your advice has been taken seriously, not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God 
and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them 
is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. My warmest greetings to all the senior high school graduates of Batch 2020-2021. I share in the joy of your graduation from senior high school together with your parents, school administrators, classmates, teachers, schoolmates, and your entire local community. I send you my heartfelt congratulations. You have been through the toughest period in your student life. Amid the pandemic, you adjusted, you persisted, and you studied hard. hard. You have been tested, challenged, and pushed to the limit. But now, you realize that you have the will to survive any crisis and to live a meaningful life. That's why you made it this far. With your acquired knowledge and skills, you are now ready to move up to another level. That is by going to college or by acquiring specialized skills or by directly joining the labor force and become agents of nation building. With your maturity and self-confidence, you can now make a name for yourselves and become productive members of society. Admittedly, a cloud of unknowing still hovers over your head, but always remember to keep your sights on the cloudless sky. Be assured that an exciting world awaits you after your graduation. Don't allow any crisis to hinder your dreams and ambitions. Continue to hope because things will eventually get better in the future. No pandemic lasts forever, and it cannot outlast your faith in the system and your hope for a better life. What lasts forever is your love for God, for others, and for yourself. As the Bible said, and now, these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. That's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. Celebrate your triumph with deep gratitude for the people who paved the way for you. You still have a lot of growing up to do. May the values that you have embraced through your high school years animate your imagination and creativity. May you become beacons of inspiration to other learners who are following you. With them, you can embark on an exciting adventure of learning and an even more exciting journey toward personal growth and development. You are the future of Caraga. Remember that. You are the future of this nation. Once again, congratulations, my dear senior high school graduates. Mabuhay kayong lahat. My sincere and warm felicitations to you, our dear graduates, parents, teachers, school principal, district supervisor, and partners in education. Seriously, the Department of Education has experienced formidable setbacks at the beginning of the school year 2020-2021 that catapulted many issues and concerns which affected our schools, teachers, parents, and learners. We confronted unexpected changes 
that we have to bravely blend in in order to triumph education. Now, we continue to thrive towards attaining quality education despite the adversities and complexities caused by the pandemic we are experiencing that vindicated our strong will and faith. Our theme for this end of the school year writes, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic meaningfully manifest that you in c Century remain strong and this is proven by your success as you are declared graduates of this school year. You may not have the chance to march with pride, yet instill in your hearts and minds that you have indelibly become part of the history whose sacrifices lead towards discovering the light of hope. Our dear graduates, you are living witnesses of the chain systems that paved the way to innovations and development. We hope this newness will lead to better ways. However, despite the rapid changes of the custom practices, the love of our department for you remains. You are the light of our country who will marry the good stories of today and of yesterday towards a blazing and victorious future. You are blessed to be part of this new generation. Take your humble chances to prove to yourself and to the society that you can soar higher and reach your ambitions. Seize this as opportunities for you to grasp your success and become a significant individual. Always remember that victory comes to those who are not limited by their limitations. Let God arise and do the process. Believe that whatever road you may take, you will never fail. To our parents, teachers, and school head, accept my sincere gratefulness for your genuine support as we all thread these radical changes. Your sacrifices honed and gave strength to your beloved children. Thank you. And I also express my heartfelt thanks to the local government officials, private sectors, private individuals, and other organizations. We acknowledge your overwhelming contributions to our mission and vision for the love of the Butuanon learners. On behalf of Deped Butuan City Division, I extend my profound gratitude to the graduates be optimistic and continue to pray for your steam success. Congratulations and to God be the glory. Congratulations graduates! Finally, it is time for the harvest. At this juncture, let us witness the distribution of diploma and academic awards to our outstanding graduates. Let's begin with grade 12 errands. Advisor, Mrs. Javeth Tita Pill. Male, Atenta Junior Rogel de la Victoria. Buron, Jim Kirk Mihurada. Bulon, Sean Michael. Danielle, Jonathan Tumaybar. Formentera, Michael Lapnes. Gonzaga, Bregi Duboy, Pakinaw. Pindok, Ivan Justel, Candelario. Inres, Reynold, Abella. Laseya, Jesser J. Kimo. Los Banos, and Benito Jr. Pepito. Lozano Emmanuel Jr. Namansila with honors. Mosquera James Romeo. 
Nicolayan Edzomar Taray with honors. Olayan Lenarjan Taray. Sestrelia Semeniano Jr. Pedro. Dubai Patrick James. Female. Ayon Joyce Bantina with honors. Bad Bad Anami Tinduba. Bad Bad Wendy with honors. Babutsai Nicole Rose Caniente. Batsado Anna Marie Lasso. Baro Hanlin Lison with honors. By Dubai, Julie Malak with honors. Conde Christy Jane Datahan. Dawat Rizal Palma with honors. Ellen Leia Netsali Bingo with honors. Galindo Noemi May Mendoza. Kelly Darling Jane. Jimenez Novel Ann Colipanga with honors. Maghilong Gliz Bustani. The Beso April Joy De La Torre with honors. Ortega Mary Grace Orillo with honors. Pales. Jamaica May Gillian Weber. Peregrino Giselle May. Saraos Joy Laudo. Soria Dimple Shane Master. Toledo Jawan May Langan. Section Gemini. Advisor, Mr. Arnold L. Hyman. Male, Ayaton Jasper Hot. Baring James Palier. Chua Clem Peggy Racines. Dandanon Mark Frances. Loyola Arnel Aureo Giliana Justin Carl Yago Lagaras Lil James Abugada With honors Mobo John Oscar Andumoye Mobo John Rossman Andumoye Vara Stephen Cesar Abrito Taliedo Jade Espinosa with honors Tanya Russell Hemi Hidalgo Nexus Lomante Pine Agang Dimple Espanyo Badajoz, Claire Ann, and Bye. Ayana, Ferdinand Shane, Tubo. Busho, Irish Bench, Cabido. With honors. De Gracia, Mary Chris. Diorico, Jean Maika, Santa Ana. Galendez, Eric Amey Mundial. Galieros, Rhea Largo. Luzon, Emery Baiwasa. Hora, Elizabeth. Nagosada, Catherine Villegas. Madersa Princess Grace Maglasang Deshi Galado 
Mosino Emily Dunn. Ohagan Mary J. Sylvani. Perodes Ivy Jean Palero. With honors. Renario Justin Dandani. Sevilla Judy B. Anko. Banhai Jimela Evo. Dorita Irene Cortez. Rosso Debbie Villarreasa Mary Joyce Verdeos Villegas Charity Sia Villesco Mariel Antonette Anko with honors To all graduates, congratulations! You truly deserve this recognition for all the hard work that you poured out just to make it this far. A thankful heart opens our eyes to a multitude of blessings that continually surround us. It is being thankful that reminds us that life has a lot of beautiful things to offer. This time, let us hear a message of thanksgiving from one of our graduates, Miss Joyce B. Ayo. Third Active Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Fe M. Pospos, our beloved principal, Dr. Jewel Saltexon Carlos, teachers and staff, our family, especially our parents, my fellow graduates, and for everyone watching this live stream, a pleasant morning to all. Today is a memorable day for all of us because we have just ended an episode of our lives, the senior high school life. Now, we are about to start a new chapter of our journey, the college, business, employment, or whatever it is. A year has now passed since the coronavirus ripped through the world. Life during the pandemic has been hard for most. On last August, my father died. That was the day when I almost did it film myself, as if the world had almost abandoned me. I thought everything was just a mere nightmare. It has taken me a couple of months to accept everything. But I know my father is so proud of me now. He is the main reason why I study so hard. Those incidents in my life taught me something. The time goes by so fast. People go in and go out of your life. You must never miss this opportunity to tell these people how much they mean to you. As Dr. Seuss said, you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Now, I will grab this opportunity to show my sincere and immense gratitude for all those people out there who inspired me to be the best that I can be. I am here today because of the people who encouraged me not only to widen my knowledge and hone my skills, but also to deepen my faith. I would like to thank my fellow graduates, especially my friends, for making me past two years at Ampeyin National High School a senior high student amazing. You make each day worthwhile and your company will be sorely missed as we move on. To our teachers, thank you for sharing your time, talent, and knowledge with us and being our second parent at school. To our principal and all the office staff, thank you for keeping things running smoothly and keeping this school and your students good as possible. To my parents, Thank you for the unconditional love, support, and giving us the chance to study in this respected school. And of course, I'll be forever thankful to our Heavenly Father for giving this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that I have, and for making the impossible possible. Again, for those who have made a difference in our lives, we say our infinite gratitude to you. To my fellow graduates, this was not definitely how we all expected a senior year to end, but I am proud to everyone and what we have all accomplished through the two years of senior high school. The future is bright and I can't wait to see it holds for all of us. Let us go for it, my fellow graduates. This COVID-19 will not stop us to achieve our goals and dreams of our life. Here I want to leave what Mahatma Gandhi said. The future depends on what you do today. 
I wish you all the best of the best. Good luck and kudos class of 2021. Today's affair would not be complete without being praised by a special woman of six years service and action. She has been serving the academy selflessly with her head high and with high hopes of molding learners well-roundedly for a better tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our keynote speaker, Mrs. Marjorie C. Cabonse, who will deliver her words of encouragement and wisdom. A reverberating round of applause for her. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember, the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Sa ating taga-pamanihala, Dr. Marilu B. Didomo, CISO 5, sa kanyang kawaksing taga-pamanihala, Dr. Manuel Caberti, Tagamasid Pampuro ng ating distrito, Dr. Fee M. Pospos, at sa ating mahal na punong guro, Dr. Jawarisel T. Carlos. Sa mga proud na mamagulang na nandito ngayon, at higit sa lahat, sa mga masasayang magsisipagtapos sa araw na ito, isang mapagpalang hapon sa ating lahat. Isang napakalaking karangalan po na maimbitahan ako ngayong hapon na magbigay ng minsahi sa inyong pagtatapos. Hindi ko po inakalang bahagi ako ngayon sa inyong kaligayahang nararamdaman. Karamihan, alam ko, karamihan sa inyo ay nakaranas ng kahirapan habang nag-aaral pa ng high school. At dahil sa determinasyong maiahon man lang ang sarili at ang pamilya sa kahirapan, lahat ng pagsubok ay napagtugumpayan. Naalala ko noon na ako ay nag-aaral pa lamang. Uh, grade 1 to grade 3, nagbi, naglalako kami ng kangkong. At hindi lahat ng kangkong ay naubos o naimbinta. Kaya ang ginawa namin ng aking mga kapatid ay inihagis namin yon sa Agusan River. At sinabi namin, humayo kayo't dumarami. Yon nagtawanan kami. So hindi pa rin mahirap ang buhay para sa akin noon. Hanggang sa grade 4 at grade 6, nakapag-aral ako bilang working students sa isang malayong kapamilya namin. Masasabi kong hindi mahirap ang buhay dahil nandyan sila na nagbigay tusto sa aking pag-aaral. At nakapagtapos ako ng grade 6 bilang valedictorian. At sa muli, hindi ko masasabing mahirap ang buhay dahil nalagpasan ko ang grade 6. So nag-aaral ako ng high school. Yun, Sinabi nilang mahirap talaga ang buhay ng high school dahil walang perang pantusto sa pag-aaral. Pero sa akin, hindi mahirap dahil tumanggap ako ng labada. So, naging labandera ko sa high school hanggang nakarating ng kolehiyo. Nakapagtapos ako ng high school at nag-enroll ng college. Nag-apply ng scholarship dahil alam ko na walang maitustos ang aking mga magulang sa aking kolehiyo. So yun, pumasok ako bilang Peace Fast Scholar. Para sa akin, hindi mahirap ang buhay na papasukin ko ngayon. Dahil sinabi sa akin noon sa pag-apply ko ng Peace Fast Scholar, Sa kinauukulan, sinabi niyang, maghintay ka hanggang alauna at bibigay ko sa iyo ang form para sa scholarship mo. Kaya yon naghintay ako, walang pananghalian. So, masasabi kong hindi mahirap ang buhay dahil natanggap ko ang scholarship. 
So, naging scholar ako ng kolehiyo. Lahat ng field trips na, na naranasan ng aking mga kaklase na hindi ko naranasan dahil walang pambayad. Ang ginawa ko ay naghingi ng topics, ng paksa sa aking guro para yun man lang ang kapalit na i-research ko, yun man lang ang kapalit para sa field trip na ginawa nila. So hanggang natapos ko ang aking kolehiyo bilang lawandera at bilang scholar ng TESPA. Hindi mahirap ang buhay para sa akin. Dahil 1998 ng Marso, natapos ko ang kolehiyo at kaagad noong May ng Mayo, nakapasok ako bilang guro sa isang pribadong paaralan. So para sa akin, hindi pa rin mahirap ang buhay dahil nakapasok ako sa isang pribadong paaralan. Yun ang naging karanasan ko bilang isudyante noon. Nalampasan ang mga pagsubok dahil alam ko at buong pusong may pananalig ako sa puong may kapal na maiahon ko ang aking sarili at ang aking pamilya sa kahirapan. Sa panahon ngayon, alam kong nasa isip at puso ninyo ngayon ang matinding, ang malaking katanungan kung bakit nangyayari o naganap ang pandemyang naranasan natin. Alam kong may katanungan sa puso't isipan ninyo dahil sa kakulangan ng inyong kaal, naging kaalaman sa senior high dahil sa pandemic. Pero huwag mawala ng pag-asa dahil may tinatawag tayong makabagong teknolohiya na siyang magbibigay ng malaking tulong sa bawat isa sa atin. Kaya Wag mawala ng pag-asa. Ipagpapatuloy ang pag-aaral sa kabila ng kahirapan. Dahil alam ko, nandoon ang Panginoon nagbibigay basbas sa atin sa araw-araw para may pagpatuloy natin ang ating buhay. Yon ang masasabi nating malaking tulong na imibigay sa ating sarili. Pananalig na may ahon ang sarili sa kahirapan. Sa huli, meron akong ipaparinig sa inyo isang awitin. Ito ay ang temsong namin ng me, myself, and I. Bahagi lamang ng awitin ni Lea Salonga. What a journey! It has been And the end is not in sight But the stars are out tonight And they're bound to guide my way And they're shining on my life I can see a better day I won't let the darkness in What a journey it has been Forward always, forward Onward always up Catching every drop of hope In my empty cup What a journey to guide my way and they're shining on my life I can see a better day I won't let the darkness in but a journey it has been my dear Terrified graduates, you are about 
to enter the most uncertain and thrilling periods of your lives. Nothing can stop you now. You have a ticket to your dreams come true. Congratulations. God bless you all. Good day. Thank you so much now. This time, let us witness the pledge of loyalty which will be led by Vinino James Kenny Lagaraz. Pledge of loyalty. We, the graduates of Ampayun National High School, in acknowledgement of the bountiful blessings endowed to us by our dear alma mater, pledge together in spirit of dedication for which this institution stands. As we look back in retrospect of our pleasant memories during our high school days, we form a vision, bright future of hope and confidence that we as worthy sons and daughters offer our noble thoughts and deeds in the service of our community, city, and country for the happiness and welfare of our people. So help us God. Goodbye may seem forever. Farewell is life again. But in our hearts, live all the unforgettable moments that will surely last a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, our graduates offering us their graduation song titled Moments by Julie Durden. that stage with the cameras flashing they've been waiting on our day it's been a journey has an end i wouldn't trade a moment no i wouldn't change a moment i'm
concludes our celebration today. Congratulations, graduates, and of course, to the proud parents. Go forth, grow, and be successful. As the saying goes, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. But it is the courage to continue that counts. Strive hard and always make your parents proud. This has been your host, Marjorie Sanchez-Kanke. Thank you and babuhay tayong lahat!